Hello everybody, this is Adrian for Webcard Online and I'm all about the details. Right now I'm seated in the all-new Mercedes-Benz GLE 450 4Matic and actually I don't plan to film a video with this car because of MCO and I'm unable to do outdoor shoots. But after spending some time inside the GLE, I've noticed some super cool features that I have to share with you guys which is why I just whipped out my camera and do a quick vlog on the cool features of this GLE. Download the official Webcar app on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store now. So first things first, the all-new GLE is, well, priced a little bit more expensive compared to its competitors, the BMW X5 and Volvo XC90. It is now locally assembled and there's only one variant to choose from which is the 7-seater variant. Dressed in the full AMG line comes with a 3-litre turbocharged straight 6 petrol engine with a 48-volt mild hybrid system. Priced at 475,000 ringgit, it's a little bit of a tough pill to swallow because the other competitors are a fair bit cheaper compared to this GLE. However, I just feel that the GLE is so special in here. Inside the cabin, you just take a look at it. This is the new generation of Mercedes-Benz interior and any new generation Mercedes-Benz if you sit in it and you look at it at a glance, it's just such a gorgeous place to be in. Massive panoramic sunroof, gorgeous screen, 64 color ambient lighting, and it's just leather trims everywhere. I love the Burmester sound system covers right here. Although I find it a little bit weird that some of the touches in here are a little bit lacking. For example, that the air vents is unlike the E-Class, which has the turbine style air vents and light up with ambient lighting. This one doesn't, it's just a plain air vent. It's a little bit plain. And the tweeters up here does not have the Burmester Mr. Cover, so that's a little bit odd right there. But um, the cool features, let's get on with it. First of the many cool features that I've noticed inside the cabin of the GLE is this automatic seat adjustment. So you can go into the menu of the uh, MBUX and once you enter, there's this automatic seat setting which you're able to adjust the seat position based on your height. So for example, I'm 175 cm tall and once I put start positioning, the seats and steering wheel adjust itself according to uh, my height, 175 cm and this is what uh, Mercedes thinks the proper sitting position. Everything is adjusted for you, side mirrors, seats, steering wheel and Honestly, 90% of the people, when they use this function, they're definitely gonna find the perfect sitting position because like this, I get good outward visibility. Everything is just perfect, very comfortable. Uh, although then it down boils down to personal preference if you have some you want to adjust and all that. But still, this is such an amazing feature and I can't believe that no one else have thought about it other than Mercedes-Benz. Amazing. Second feature is the leveling height adjustment of the air suspension. A flick of a button, a massive button right here. You don't have to go into menus or anything, just one massive button and it automatically just lowers or raises the car according to your needs. And I think this is super cool, super amazing and it's very convenient. If for example, you need to go over some ruts, one flick of a uh, switch, amazing. Next up, just like on an E-Class, you're able to adjust the passenger seat from the driver's seat just by pressing this button, activate it. Look, seats adjusted forward, high adjustment, and you can do all of the adjustments right from the driver's switch. And I think this is uh, quite cool, quite a boss feature. And once you step inside to the middle row of the GLE, the passengers just get so much luxury uh, in here. For example, first up, you get electronically adjusted seats for recline. Even your head rest adjustment is also electronically controlled. Very cool. Next, powered sunshades. A touch of a button. And if you want to access the third row seats of the GLE, there's a button right here. One touch and it automatically falls down.
just how much more convenient and luxurious a car can get. The row seats, well, uh, not very spacious. Um, for kids, it's okay. Uh, shorter adults, no problems at all. And then once you want to fold back the seats, Oh, this is kind of weird. You have to press and hold all the way until it gets into this uh, position. You have to do it and leave by the seats. That's a bit odd. There we go. Nice. Another cool feature is over in the third row seats, there are three switches right here. One is for the left seats, electronically controlled to fold them down. Middle one is for the right. And lastly is the air suspension. So you can lower or raise the height in case you need to uh, load items, make it easier to load and unload items. So allow me to demonstrate. I'm gonna press this button. The seats fold down completely flat. Very cool. For the right side. Nice. However, the third row seat is still um, manually operated, which I find it kind of weird. So there you have it, some of the cool features inside the Mercedes-Benz GLE. Now I apologize that I'm unable to give you guys a full in-depth review as I usually would uh, because of the situations. Hopefully when things get better, the cases come down and I'm able to have a more detailed in-depth review of this properly, properly boss car. And personally, I think this has the most special interior. The driving experience is very special and all the cool features in here just makes it very unique. And I would say justify the premium compared to its other competitors. But what about you guys? Let me know in the comment section below what do you think? Whether would you take the GLE or the X5 or XC90? As always, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Download the official Webcar app on Apple App Store and Google Play Store for all your latest reviews, news and comparisons to help you find your next perfect car.